Okay, here we are back inside Makers Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell, leave me a like, and absolutely please take five seconds, drop a comment in there, and help my algorithm out. Uh, YouTube is very strict. <laughs> uh, I had a request a while back, and I'm sorry I have not gotten to it sooner, uh, on a, a fingerprint ring, right? Uh, and I uh, wasn't quite sure how to go about doing this, uh, and it was on my list, and I, I saw it, so I want to try and uh, take care of this one and check it off. Uh, so uh, we'll just real quick uh, do a uh, fingerprint uh, item here. Uh, the first thing I'll do is just go ahead and uh, grab me a ring rail, and we'll just, again, we'll just keep everything uh defaults for the most part uh, and then we'll put a profile on that and then I will change this profile because I want a little uh, I want a domier but uh, maybe a uh, flatter uh, surface on the top a domey not not rounded like this right uh, and I think this would be uh, I don't know it'd probably be okay but I, I kind of like this one so I'm going with this one <laughs> so I'll double click on it and we'll get rid of all this here Oh, sorry. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, bing. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and activate auto sweep on this. Uh, and if you watched the last video, oh, it, yeah, it changed it. Okay. Uh, if you watched the last video, we could do a NURB service, but there's no reason for us to do a NURB service on this because we, we're going to extract this surface anyway, right? So we'll just go ahead and uh, select this. Uh, and we'll give it some shading at this point. And I'll just go ahead and uh, hold down Shift, Control, select that top surface there. Uh, go to Transform and grab me an Auto Base. And I'll just uh, right-click to accept that. And we'll just uh, give them all shading. And then I'll take this and we'll go, it's, it's just me. You don't have to do this part, it's not necessary. And we'll put that in the center. And I'm just gonna leave it there this time. I'm not gonna drag it out. Uh, and uh, I will change this surface though to my ground plane here, uh, right there, all right. Uh, so we have our ground plane for our uh, auto base right there and then we have our item right now we need to get a ring or our fingerprint right so we're going to select all this so we'll just go ahead and hide it for right now and the best way to uh, get a fingerprint of course is to uh, use ink and white paper and then uh, uh, put it on a printer and uh, copy it to your computer right and you might have to do some touch up maybe go into uh, uh, some kind of photo editing and make sure you get those uh, um, all those fingerprints closed up because sometimes when you do the printing uh you know the uh, the scanning to your computer or whatever uh it'll come in with little blotches so you might want to go in and uh to some kind of photoshop editing or something and clean up those uh, uh lines a little bit but i have one uh Let's see, tools and raster to vector right here, right? And I'll just scroll down here and grab me the fingerprint and we'll import that in. And right away, you can see what I'm talking about. It has a little, sometimes, even after you go into Photoshop or uh, some kind of photo uh, GIMP or whatever and get to your fingerprint, you're going to have little blotches out here where it's uh, kind of not doing, and those aren't going to do you any good. So we want to clean those up. And the uh, uh, easiest way is just to go over to our uh, cleaning panel right here and just kind of bump it up a little and then just wait for it. And now you can see it's much, much cleaner. It got rid of all those uh, little uh, things there, right? And uh, again, uh, you know, this is going to be pretty thin. So uh, these little things right here, maybe you want to go ahead and, and uh, just get rid of. So we'll just go ahead and first uh, uh, say we want this, right? Uh, so I'll right click to accept it, right? Uh, and then we have it out here. And the one thing you'll notice is if we go ahead and we select it, it says all open curves. And the reason being is because uh, what it does is it puts them out individually. It doesn't close them up for you. So we're going to go ahead and select everything. And we're just going to uh, ungroup it right and now you can see what i'm talking about if i go in here it's just selecting the little pieces right but if you go in there grab everything and go to your join 
All right, and then check it. Go ahead and grab the whole thing, and then it'll say that's closed. If it says uh, open surface, you'll need to find out where it's opened at. Maybe it uh, put a double in there, so you could do a super select, and uh, it's not showing up here because I don't have any. But it, you know, select all uh, dupes or whatever, uh, and and get rid of those. And or you'll need to go it through there and find out which one is uh, not closed, right? Uh, but these little teeny ones here, uh, you know, you might want to go ahead and just uh, grab those, uh, some of them, you know, because they probably won't uh, cast up or print up very well uh, in most, some of the, it depends on, I guess, how you're casting. If you're doing a centrifugal cast, uh, it's probably not going, this whole thing probably will blow apart. Uh, so you want to be careful. I'd say... Uh, Either injection casting or uh, uh, vacuum casting would probably be the best way to cast something like this. But grab the real small ones and just go ahead and uh, delete them. Uh, you really don't need them. The real small ones, right? Some of them you can probably keep. Uh, you know, you could probably get rid of a couple others, but that's totally up to you. Uh, you know, they probably won't show up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh so just grab some of those right there and of course now it's it's really huge right so we're just going to go ahead and grab everything and we are going to hold down shift and make it very very small uh and we'll probably need to make it a little smaller than that but we'll bring back everything right now and we have a fingerprint out there that's way too big right so we're just going to go ahead and select all that again and we're going to rotate that 90 degrees type in 90 uh, click on your rotation there and hit 90 we'll go like that right and then we'll just come from our top view uh, and we'll just kind of uh, drag it down a little bit something like this and we'll go ahead and grab our handles here and make it a little longer so that it stretches it out a little uh, and it's still the fingerprint their fingerprint we're just trying to get it to where it's going to look good on the item right and you can go through there and readjust that however you see fit uh, to make it uh, look like uh, it's going to uh, flow on there very nicely uh, or where they want it maybe they want it bigger maybe they want it smaller it just really depends on how you want to lay it out and i did not rotate my uh ring rail when i curved it right so this is going to be my top the end here and the end here will be the center right here uh maybe you want to go in and drag that to the bottom that totally depends on you i'm just going to say i want the 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 fingerprint to come down like halfway right something like that so it's kind of offset but it doesn't really matter because they can spin the ring around any way you want on this particular design here now another thing is is if you wanted to uh you could extract this surface here hold on shift control well you'd pr have to put lines in there to uh, uh blow that right so let's go ahead and well, let's just go ahead and do this part first. But you can put it on the inside as well. Uh, maybe they don't want it on the outside. They want the outside with diamonds or something. Uh, but you can put it on uh, the inside of the ring too, uh, which will kind of leave an indentation uh, when they wear it so that everyone knows that they're married, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so uh, let's go in here and uh, grab this. Let's go to our solids and let's go to extract uh, those curves straight and I have a, a distance of one right so I can go ahead and hit enter at one uh, and I'll do that I'll just go ahead and hit enter so I'll take it out there one so now what it does is it takes it on one on both sides right well I don't want it uh, one on both sides so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all that again and then I'm going to make it a little thinner I wanted about a half millimeter in depth so something like that should be okay and you can always go in and grab your dimensions and check it to see where it's how it's laying out so it's one millimeter so it's a half and half right okay uh so we got all that there and now it's it's just uh doing the normal uh go to your transform uh go to uh smart flow grab this here uh we'll grab uh, this here up oh, wrong one okay right click grab this surface this surface 
and it's going around uh, and those coming out good that's going up in the right direction so we'll grab this one and I'll just go ahead and grab all that and then hit enter uh, it'll take a little bit of a while uh, to flow it up there because that's a lot of little uh, curves and everything and there it is uh, so I'll right click accept that and then there's my uh, item there right so i'm right now i'm going to go ahead and turn off yellow because we don't need that uh, i'm going to take this and i am going to turn it to this right next thing we need to do is go and do a solid uh boolean uh, difference uh, we'll select this surface here enter and we'll select you can do part of them make it a little faster or you can just select all of them and then right click and then just go grab some coffee uh, because it'll take a little bit of time to make all those cutouts right uh, and actually I have some coffee here, so, uh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, it's a, it's a really humid day today in Japan, Tokyo. Uh, it's, it's cool outside, but it's just humid because it's been raining. And, uh, this is kind of our rainy season here. Uh, and we'll just wait for this. It shouldn't take too long, but, uh, if you do them a little bit, uh, you know, uh, some at a time not all of them it'll uh, just kind of make it a little faster for you i guess uh, so we'll just kind of hang out here if it takes real long i'll just go ahead and pause the video and come back <clears throat> but uh hope everybody's doing good hope everybody's staying busy making money and staying safe uh, a lot of tornadoes in the u.s i saw a lot of other things going on around the world <laughs> be careful be safe uh and there we go all right and i'll just right click to accept that now uh you know we have it out here uh and we want to uh, do a render for our customer i'll go ahead and turn off our ring rail here uh and we'll select all that and we'll just go ahead and hide it right now i'm going to grab this again and i'm going to go back uh, to this here uh, and i'm going to take it and i am going to explode it all uh, right and let it explode and finish that and then i'm just going to grab everything again and i'm going to change not the curves just those four one to the ring itself right and i'm going to change it back to green so what it does is it keeps all those items in there a different color so now it makes it very easy for me to go in here and do a render for the customer or something so let's go to our render and uh we'll go ahead and the first thing i'll do is select my uh document materials and i'll check and i have none on the in there so i'm going to go ahead go back to my materials and we'll go to metals and i'll select uh, white gold 14 karat white gold and we will select our green and i will apply that so it'll apply that to all the green uh, and then i'll uh, hide this one here and come down here to my uh, ground planes and i'm just going to grab this matte black and this uh, material where our fingerprint is right and then apply that uh, and then last thing i'll do is i'll turn on matrix classic there and we'll just go into ray trace then take a look and see what it's uh, doing for us and there we go we have a nice little render uh, that uh, we could uh, send the the customer you know you could set it up with different ground plane or however you want uh, but you have a nice little uh item for your customer to be able to take a look at and make sure that they're happy with the way it's came out uh, you could maybe go ahead and get rid of those outside ones there it just really depends on how you want and you can also you know maybe like i said maybe they don't want it on the outside they want gemstones or designs or something but you could uh, go ahead and do a cutout uh, in to the inside which would you know uh increase the the monies i guess that uh, your sales people can achieve by if they just offer this to their customer we can put up rings we can put your fingerprint on the inside of the ring so uh maybe get a little extra cash out of the customers uh if that's something that they want uh, because the item would have to be done uh, inside matrix gold uh, or something like that uh, but there you go hopefully this helps and i'm sorry i didn't get to this early it took so long uh, but uh Thanks for watching, good designing, and uh, I hope the content's helping. Uh, have a good day.